Okay, so for section seven, three, number 25, the goal is to evaluate cosecant squared of pi thirds minus five. So maybe what we can do first is rewrite this as cosecant pi thirds, and then the exponent, we'll just put it on the outside, which is totally fine, okay? Now go to your, your six by six sort of table of values from the other day, from class the other day, and recall that the cosecant of pi thirds, let me look at my cheat sheet here. It says that it's two square root three over three. So that's a given fact. And we'll take this bubble and we'll drop it in here so that we get back two square root three over three to the power of two minus five. And what you what we encourage students to do is just to use their devices for things like this. I mean, if anything, you can type all of this into a calculator, but just make sure that you have these parentheses. You have got to have these parentheses because if not, we get something else. And if you type all that in, you get the final answer. And if that's all you wanted, then just you know stop the video now. But tell you what, why don't I continue to do just some more extra? Let me do all of this by hand, okay? Let me show you how to do it by hand. So because it's a square, I'm gonna write this twice. Two square root three over three times two square root three over three and then minus five, okay? So let's do this by hand. Now in the top, we have two times two, so that's four. And then square root three, square root three is like square root nine, but square root nine is just a regular three. And in the bottom, we go three times three to get nine, all right? Now, this is gonna be, how about this? Look, how about we cancel that three, but it turns the nine into a, into a three in the bottom if we just reduce. And so what we have so far is four over three minus five. Now, you know that under the five, there's a one, and we can get a common denominator by multiplying three top and bottom. And so finishing touches, we have four thirds minus 15 thirds. And that's how the textbook, that's why they said negative 11 thirds, okay? So, but again, I would encourage students just to save time and go calculator at this point, but just make sure you have those parentheses.